caught on dash cam video what led to a police shooting last summer in Colonial Heights. This is video of the high speed chase where an officer tried to pull over Melissa Alexander, a South Carolina woman. Senior reporter Wayne Colville walks us through exactly what happened. Now we want to warn you, some of what you're about to see and hear is not suitable for all viewers. The pursuit began after Officer Greg Tennis running radar on Ellerslie Avenue clocked a 2014 Dodge Avenger doing 60 in a 35. During the pursuit, the suspect's car ran a red light and then ran out of road, pulling into a driveway and then into a backyard. Show your hands! Show your hands out the car now! Put your hands out the car! Ten times, Officer Tennis yells for the driver to show their hands. After about one minute, the driver gets out of the car and in one motion aims a 380 caliber pistol at the officer who is behind his car door. <laughs> officer fires six shots and the suspect, Melissa Alexander, falls to the ground, hit twice in the abdomen. As other officers arrive on scene, they approach the suspect on the ground and put her in handcuffs. While waiting for medical help, Officer Tennis asked Alexander why she got out of the car pointing a gun at him. On Monday, the victim was found not guilty by reason of insanity at the time of the incident. The video showing the officer acted according to department policy while making a split-second decision. During times like this, you're nervous, a lot of things going on, and, and you tend to maybe go away from that train a little bit, but he stayed right on point, he was focused, and he did his job, and he did it correct. Now, Captain Newsom says the department will use the dash cam video for training purposes. Melissa Alexander remains in custody. She will be back in court in August after being evaluated by two independent doctors. Officer Greg Tennis continues to patrol Colonial Heights. Bill?